Chainsaw Man episode 10. And what a crazy ride it's been in just 10 episodes. He made it! Hell yeah. Aki's fine. That's power, right? Power and Denji. Power has a lot of explaining to do for her level 10 fleeing. Denji just helping himself to the gift basket of apples. When Denji says all the apples are for him, he means all of the apples are for him. There it is. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, that's, that's a perfectly plausible explanation. I'm so glad that she explained that. All is forgiven. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Aki, you got a big storm coming, bro. The following is a list of people that survived. And Kobeni. <laughs> Glasses, dude. Man, Denji just speaks right to my heart. We know. <laughs> we already know that. That's obvious. That's also why Denji came here. Wow, is this... Character development. <laughs> Kindness. An apple for Aki. That, that makes it alright. Soothes the pain. Of losing literally everyone. Almost everyone. Everyone. Also, Makime doesn't love you. And yeah, like a lot of your life was lost. How, how much exactly? We're not sure. Could be anything. Could be like a minute. Could be like a decade. Oh my god! What was it even for? What was it even for? It's just skip the apple, yeah, just smoke up, Aki. Ooh! Damn, that was so well done. The show is art, man, for real. I think I said that at one point. I think I said every cigarette he smokes from now on. Pain. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not even all of it. Hamano's gonna cut the deepest, but also finding out you only have two years to live is not, not the easiest thing to figure out. Is this him trying to empathize? Keep going, Denji. I don't think he'd be sad if he'd be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it feels genuine. It's not really a love relationship. It's not a love relationship. No, that's not it. I feel like that's part of the progression for Denji. This is a great scene and it's a fun idea that they play with. Does Denji have a heart? You know, there are moments where you, you think maybe there's something there, but it turns out it's a selfish motivation. But if I had to take a definitive stance one way or the other at this point in the show, I would say for sure he has a heart. It's just he's had the most insane background and upbringing. He, he's basically a wild animal that's recently been rehabilitated. It's going to take a lot of time. The fact that he has these thoughts at all means he, he got a hit of something. There was some empathetic neuron that fired. Also, just in general, I've had this exact same thought where I felt like I should be sadder than I was. It's a weird feeling of guilt. Like, why don't I feel terrible about this? But ultimately, I think you can't really should your feelings. You're just going to feel what you feel. And it's probably less a symptom of your capabilities and just more a symptom of where you are at any given moment. And also, in some cases, how much of unresolved conflict you have regarding the tragedy. Times you were unkind, for example, feeling like you can't be who you are without a certain person. It's great for Denji though, and it feels like it ties into a broader theme between kind of the, the human, the spiritual, the sympathetic, empathetic, versus this animal world that they're forced to participate in due to their profession and also due to their teenage hormones. <laughs> Power in a weird way is sort of an avatar or mirror for his pure animal state. Maybe why they're so comfortable together. Why are you crying? What? What? Where have you been? Speaking of no empathy. <laughs> no, his last apple. Can this man lose anything more today? Take his cigarettes too while you're at it. <laughs> this show is so like hilariously cruel to go to that extent. Lost his love or best friend at least. Lost basically his entire life. Minus two years. And then just, because why not? You know, just kick a man while he's down. All your basket of apples. 
the whole thing. You can't even eat fruit. But you know what that means? It means two years to kill the gun devil. That's the only silver lining I can see. It's just like, there's literally nothing left to lose. Speaking of becoming an animal, Aki unleashed. うん。沖間さんが指導してくれるんですか。残念だけど私は忙しくなっちゃうから。That yeah, they're passing this test. No attachments. <laughs> <laughs> they're so honest. Three for three. He reminds me a lot of Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. And hug. This is your first test. How do you feel about women with big asses? Now, what the hell? A moment every teacher can relate to. <laughs> Just dead. Is, you know, lesson one, die. Kill your students. She's going right to the booze. I mean, he has a pretty good win-loss record, but okay. A man of culture. A moment every teacher can relate to. Every effective teacher knows that the students are your enemies. <laughs> Damn, it's fast. Now I'm doing the work for the anime characters. And he's drunk, no less. I mean, that was cool and all, but I didn't really need that demonstration. I knew how powerful he was when he told Makima to shut it. What is it, gone? Um... Doing some basic math from previous episodes, about 3 milliseconds. Oh, yeah, they came in here with a really condescending attitude. Man, I wasn't... I was right when I was talking about taken to the last drop. No, I... no. I feel like, honestly, I know what he, he's gonna choose. It's pretty obvious. What life, I mean... In a weird way, I feel like he just joined Power and Denji in a way he hadn't before. Hey, things are looking up for Aki. It's not all bad. Cheer up. Huh? Who the hell was it? His family's gone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me when I finish a long work day. I'm helping, I'm helping. <gasps> the fact that it worked. He's like a broken TV. Yeah, because life was so fun before today. He doesn't even have boobs. What's the point? An experience every student can relate to. Either drink a lot more or a lot less. <laughs> Good luck with that one. That's just not Denji's role. When you think the thought is the thing itself. You can feel a noble prize incoming. They're gonna get wrecked. They're gonna get absolutely wrecked. They just spent a lot of energy talking about being smart enough. That's true. He's a he's a drinker, so he'll be at his weakest in the morning. <laughs> How oh, in the world is he so fast? Some kind of speed devil contract. 
Why the glasses, though? It's a part of the plot. Was that it? Was that it? The alcohol is a secret to his strength, I'm telling you, you gotta just get get the flask, wait for him to come down a little bit. Wasn't he just coming home? <laughs> yeah, it did feel like he let them off a little bit easy there. Could this guy be any more grating? Please don't tell me he's a fan favorite. They're taking Aki too lightly here, though. He just feels different, even though he's not displaying any obvious behavior. Dude. Okay, so this is Himeno's sister. Yeah, she wanted out. She wanted out together. The way it's being set up, it's like the agency is antagonistic towards him. Could this lead to something like, I don't know, rogue Aki? Future devil. What does it give some kind of foresight? I'm with shifty eyes over here. Oh damn, I'm super curious. Oh, this one looks like filmed. Pretty cool style. He took real footage, put a filter over it, and then animated Denji in it. Uh, crazy episode for Aki. Part of what makes it so terrifying is comparing the fact that he just took a lot of losses in a big way. Doesn't have a lot going. And then it is treated like crap by his peers or his associates for it, having lost a lot of his value as a hunter, contrasted with his usual quiet demeanor. He had that outpouring of emotion when he woke up, but other than that, he's kind of steely-faced, but you can feel it. This is not the same person, and they're underestimating him, which feels like a super volatile situation all around. And now they're giving this man power. What is his motivation now, aside from revenge? And what would make him play by the rules in the search of that revenge when there's no leverage they have against him at all? There's nothing he can lose. I mean, he's basically He's dead. Then also the introduction of this teacher, who I believe is the same person, perhaps, that was coaching Jimeno, that was talking about how she, she needs to be crazy. If it is him, definitely matching that ethos in his full introduction. It's a new arc of depravity and sadness. And who knows what Makima is even busy doing. The fact that she's busy bodes well for no one. <laughs>